Hi gang, just pulled from Landscape Lighting Limited here. I'm fitting this Super Spike unit and it's designed to stabilize and the pole lights like this twin pole light. So I'm just going to hammer this guy into the ground, all plumbing as level as I can make it. Hi again, just back with the super spike and as you can see, because the hole is cut at an angle, you can leave this grub screw aperture available. Once it's in position, you can just nip that up so the grub screw just pushes against the internal body of the pole light. Really neat little product. And there we go. That's our twin pole light in place. It's a low voltage unit because we're near the hot tub, kind of any mains near the water, of course, that's all standard stuff. And this pole light just down lights the little pathway through at the low level border planting. We have up lights each of the two all the way around this planting border. There's some in there, we haven't tidied the cables yet, so when they're all finished, none of that will be visible. And again, we have another twin pole light here, just the main entrance and exit to this patio. Ah, and all the neat feature up lighting all covered by spike spot adjustables. We have a wall down light in grey to match the decor there. An existing old twin wall spot, but tucked down the back here we have some mouse lights made use of the, some cable that the old electrician left. There wasn't too many options there, I needed something low profile and discreet. And again, I'm going to tuck that cable in. But um, goes with traditional stone work really well. So here it's up lighting, it can be used to down light, cross light, you can drive over them. And once this copper's weathered down a bit, just blend into the garden even more than it is. Nice one.